Okay, well, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and your um, experience um, in the U.S. On, on, on your program. Okay, yeah, so uh, my name is Yerney, and recently I went to, to the U.S. to study at Watson University, which is this alternative education program that focuses on social entrepreneurship. And they select 12 students from all around the world and invite them to come there for four months, so one semester, to learn all about social entrepreneurship and also personal development that helps you when you're starting your own businesses. Were there any specific aspects about it that you found um, were more transformational, more impactful than others? What, what, what about the experience was so um, impactful mm -hmm. for you? Mm -hmm. Well, first off, I mean, when you're forced to be in a situation where the first person you've known is a, a couple of thousand kilometers away from you, yeah. that kind of gives you a new perspective on survival, I guess, in some ways. Uh, not that I had to fight for survival, but just gives you a different uh, mindset about how you have to do things. Then it's it was the mindset. Uh, Boulder's the next Silicon Valley, and having the opportunity to meet people, see see how life goes in Boulder, and hear uh, the the way people think in Boulder was definitely transformational because it maybe made me realize that that's that's the mindset that needs to happen in Slovenia if we need to if we want to change things drastically. And, and, and tell me a little bit about the, the this mindset that you um, kind of came across in the U.S. As, uh, around entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. what, what was so interesting to you? Mm -hmm. So one of my mentors said that Americans are basically born to be entrepreneurs because when, when they came to this new land, they need to figure things out. They need to build from scratch. And that this is the reason why entrepreneurship culture is so present in America. And yeah, that was... That was something that really resonated with me because it was people were really thinking about how to make the world a better place and how to build new things. They weren't stagnant. They weren't complaining about things. They were really thinking about how to improve, how to innovate, how to build. And that's something that I, I really think should be uh, a way of thinking everywhere in the world. Is this what you, what you would describe as social entrepreneurship in, in a certain sense? Yeah, definitely. I mean, social entrepreneurship, if we go down to definition, is just putting a mission in front of the profit without neglecting the profit as people usually do. So that's that's what social entrepreneurship is all about. What from that experience um, are you excited to bring back here to Slovenia? Um, what from that experience in the U.S. do you want to bring back here? So I've learned a lot. That's that's the first one. There's a whole lot of knowledge that I want to share with uh, other people from Slovenia that might not be as present here in Slovenia yet. So that's the first thing. Then the, the optimism. So I've seen the good and the bad of the United States, and I, th I think Slovenia still doesn't realize its potential and also its uh, upsides and positive sides. So I think it's kind of our job to remind people in Slovenia that maybe things aren't as bad as they think they are. And also, I fell in love with my country even more now that I've been out and seen it from another perspective. And I think uh, love for the country is something that should be more common in Slovenia. I mean, Americans are huge when it comes to loving their country, and Slovenians, not so much. Do you, Are there any um, particular um, ideas um, regarding entrepreneurship um, that you picked up that you, um, I don't know, that you can maybe talk about briefly that you think are, um, would be really beneficial to be adopted um, here in Slovenia that could, or could be focused on a bit more? Mm -hmm. So recently I've started working on quite a few projects that I found were aligned with what my vision for the future of Slovenia is. One of them is Ustorialnik, which is an organization that teaches entrepreneurship to high school students. Then another project we're starting up is some sort of a business accelerator in uh, the region where I come from. And then I saw that in America there's more and more uh, alternative education programs, one of them being Watson. Mm -hmm. So that's something that really is one of my wishes to bring to Slovenia because I've seen what it did to me as a person and I want to give others the same opportunity to happen to them. And then the last thing would be Unreasonable Institute, which is this business accelerator for social ventures. And recently they've started working on scaling what they do to other countries. And I think Slovenia would be a perfect destination for them to get their works here. Briefly, when you, when you talk to, uh, when you're out talking to the high school students, 
um, about entrepreneurship, what um, what what advice do you give them? I mean, you know, just kind of what 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 brief advice do you give them to 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 um, encourage them to jump into entrepreneurship? Basically, first off, I tell them that we are the most privileged generation that ever lived on this planet, and give some examples why I think that's the case. And then I go straight into stories because people love stories, and that if you want to retain uh, people's what's the word attention, you need to tell them stories. So I tell them stories about their peers that did amazing things and others that did amazing things and how they started, how the how the humble beginnings of some of the greatest companies were. And that's when they ask them at the end and say, I've told you all about uh, how other people started, how they dared, how they had the courage to do it. Are you one of them? Do you, do you see yourself building something great? If you do, join us. Let's do something great together. And usually that gets people motivated. Yeah. It, it sounds like uh, collaboration is a big theme that you, you touch on. Definitely. I mean, what's the point of succeeding if there's no one to share your success with? And also, what's the point of one person succeeding if you can adopt the model to have, I don't know, ten, tens of people succeeding at the same time and thus making this, the success even better, even bigger, and the impact on the environment tremendous. Thank you so much for sharing your opinions today. Any last words that you'd like to close with? Uh, Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity and I guess it all comes down to people taking risks and being open to change.